Hey, it's your boy, Senior Ding Dong, and today we got some news on the March 31st, 2007 Forbidden List. And, uh, yeah, let's get down to that. And we got a little joke from the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization, after a thousand years, we're free. Nice. And also we got updates for the Duo Saga set, so it's pretty good. Uh, let's see, so Star Dash means that that's the Rata text, so that's what's going on. So the Forbidden are Magic Spectre Unicorn, Karen, kind of obvious why. Uh, I feel like it could have been at one, because I mean, pendulums won't be really that good in the that format, but I mean, you keep returning to hand, so I could see where the problem is. Tyrant Neptune won't be that good until next set, with those basically um, that new archetype, the level one win beast. That's they're pretty good. They do some burn damage, whatever, with their exceeds. But they're not going to be really that good without this card. So, and then Vanny Epsis, yeah, they're trying to promote a fair game state, I guess. Or that's what they said with Kaiser Coliseum. So this one makes more sense than Kaiser Coliseum, actually. Limitives are Maxi, Rescue Cat, Freeing Them Boys, Bionic Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Yo. Uh, this is the Rata one where it's only a once per turn effect. Brain Control, ter it's terrible now, guys. Uh, Future F Fusion takes like two turns to set up. Not as good. Imperial Order, it's okay, but I think you have to pay a light point cost during each sandboy f phase now. It's decent, I guess. Wizard and Eye Magician. That's obviously to promote the new packs rather than the structure deck we were supposed to get. So, okay. Zodia Rap Burr. Okay. Basically, I guess they didn't want to hit the exceeds because those are the money ones. But this card is like the card that makes the deck run besides like Barrage. So, okay. Uh, interrupted Kaiju Slumber. That should have been a one of like, oh, like all the kaiju monsters should be ones, and this one should be two. I mean, you basically need two of them, but like, it's making everything like, what, what, why should I waste resources on like a bunch like, super quantums X8? Why should I waste my all my materials on that when they have slumber and all those kaiju's? So. <laughs> I could see why, and then obviously the unlimited is Sagan. And if you're wondering why Witch of the Black Forest didn't get a limited, or it's because she doesn't get her errata until the structure deck for the link format. So we're probably gonna get her sometime during then, like August maybe, if we get a ban list. Like we don't know if we're gonna get a ban list after like two more of OCG. So. And this one doesn't even seem like a ban list, really, because it just seems like, oh, we're gonna, we just have to uh, update it, and we're not doing any problem cards, so it's kind of a waste in my book, really. Like no wind up magician, no insectors, they could have done that. Any card that hasn't done, you hasn't done anything in the TCG, like I felt like even Gateway of the Six Packs could have been one to one. Then try next ban list to see if it should go to two. Basically what they did for Snatch Hill. Obviously it's not going to be as good as Snatch Hill Gateway. Gateway is good, but Snatch Hill is generic for every deck. That's why it had to be banned. Other than that. And we couldn't even have Monster Reborn at one. OCG has it for like years. Uh, Free My Boy Stratos could have been at one or two. Put Dark Cloud to two. Not Dark Cloud, but you know. The Shadow Mist two. And then you want to be all set. Other than that, this ban list kind of blows. It's uh, it's okay with the forbidden cards. I can see that. Maxi shouldn't even get hit. If it did, it shouldn't have been semi-eliminated because everyone runs in at two anyway. Rescue Cat probably can go to two after it's errata. Product Dragon and Ice Bear is not as good as it was. It's a once per turn effect for that card, so that could have been a three. It's a nice level. It's a nice level six for Synchros to go into. Bring Tro, that's uh, not as good as it was. Future Fusion, really terrible because the cards are sent the next standby phase. So you can't even plus right away with Infernoids. So that's kind of sucks too. And then Imperial Order is still pretty decent, just not as good. 
Other than that, we already know the Wizard My Magician is basically there just for to promote the pack. Other than that, see you guys. Jameis out.